Hello, my name is Corina Reinhout and I'm a design team member from Studio Lights. And today I will show you the new sweet Christmas collection. We have uh, a paper pets with the most beautiful bright colors like red stripes, trees, text, more stripes and the unit colors. And we have uh, elements, paper pads, 20 sheets with text, tags, well, and a lot of paper elements. You don't need a scissor. You can push them out very easily. And then we have four uh, cutting dies. We have a gift pass holder where you can uh, put a gift card in so you can make a real present for someone you like and we have this uh, die and this is the ho 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 and the merry christmas you can make in an easy way a very great clean and simple card with it then we have trees the trees outside or inside you can make it the way you like it the decoration for the trees and we have this one and this is a christmas postcard and today i want to make uh, this uh, on an envelope and i will make a small card so let's get started i die cutted this one already like this so this is a fun way but also very very easy so let's make it and i i'm going to use an envelope so we are going to pimp the envelope let's take some tacky glue from studio lights and we are going to glue everything together oh, whoa there was something in it what doesn't belong there well, it has been a while because of a lot of family circumstances. I couldn't make an English video. I'm sorry for that. And over a little while I have to go for a surgery in the hospital. So then I can't do anything. So I thought, come on. Let's give it a try and make something for the YouTube channel from Studio Lights. And you can also see this on my YouTube channel. So you see, it's simple, easy, but so nice. Use the colors. Well, shall we put this a little bit higher well let's do it let's give it a try to put it some higher and i'm going to use the small adhesive foam adhesive from studio lights also well let's take two pieces i think Sorry for my dog, he's barking outside. He's lying in the sun. He doesn't like it to be alone. But sometimes he must. No. Let's take the poker tool. The way you need. Like that. Pick it in and pull it off. Peel it off. So pick in and peel off. Okay. So let's put this straight in the middle. As possible. Like this. Well, how fun is it? You can put here uh, the name of the person you will give the card 
or shant it. Now I'm willing to give it a little bit extra. So what am I going to use? What am I going to use? Well, I like this one. So I will give it some mail. It's a mail, a postcard. Mail. And I need a big Santa. No. I don't know how you call this guy in English. We call him the Nutcracker. But I'm not sure if it's right. Well, he can stand over there. And I need a little small... Well, does I have another small envelope? Well, I hope so. Because I like it to put it in the mailbox. So, let's take a look in the pieces I have. Well, this one is all so nice. Let's use this one as a stamp. Holly jolly. And I need a small envelope. I thought we had small envelopes. I thought, I thought. Oh, they are already both out. Well, then it's not possible. I'm so sorry. I can make... Well, I can give it a try with this one. This is also a letter to put in the mailbox. So let's try. I take my knife from Studio Lights. Where is it? Yes, it's here. And I have to use my ruler because otherwise I don't cut straight out. So I need a small piece where I can put this one through. And I don't like it, and it's too big. I think it's enough. And maybe, you see, it's, well, it's a little bit big, you see. Maybe it's nicer coming out like that. So I have to make it a little bit bigger. Not much, a little bit. So I can put it down from the other side. Let's do it like this. And when you do this like me, it's a little bit bigger. The hole is coming to get a little bit bigger. Okay, so I want him. Well, maybe this is already enough. Hmm. A little bit bigger. But I like it to see the whole one. Well, like that. Well, this is the way I want it to do. Isn't this funny? I think I like this. Um, what I'm going to do is cut off the small points. We have a few, not much, a few. And well, that's enough, I think. This guy has already also maybe this a little bit smaller like the other side must be better okay the guy is standing will I set him behind the mailbox or in front of the mailbox. I can put him also like this, I think. Let's do that. A little bit more 
to the right. Well, this stays as it has to be. And then this little guy is coming, standing over there. Maybe a little bit higher. So, also using some foam tape. Oh, this is not straight. Well, that doesn't matter at all. I think. And some pieces over there. Like that. Okay, and a small one at the bottom where he's standing. Okay, so let's put these small pieces off. I have catched it. Well, it won't on the Christmas envelope I think it doesn't want to go away please so with this uh, collection you can make a very easy small no not small you can make very easy uh, clean and simple Christmas cards it doesn't need need a lot well, and then we need the envelope. Well, I have a little piece from the foam. And another little piece at the bottom. And that will be enough. So we can put that. Okay, that's one. And that's number two. So, holy jolly. Yeah, I have here uh, the space for uh, put the address and the name for the person you will give it to. And do I need more? Well, I think I need a little bit of snow. Well, I do that later. First, I'm going to make a very, very quickly and small card and this one this card shape is very nice for it I think I put it on a double envelope I think because it's now it's a little bit of Flubbery. So let's get this one. I think I'm going to do it like that and then double. Yes. Then you have also a, a almost a double card. Not totally, almost, I think. Well, I put it a little bit higher on top. Yes, let's do that. Cut off the little pieces you don't want to have inside. And this is not so much. Okay, so let's glue it on the back of this paper. And I put it a bit over the top, a little bit. That's a little bit too much, I think. So a little bit lower and a little bit more this way. I think this is okay. Now it's not totally, you see. Then I have a card that's kept open and closing.
So get rid of the pieces we don't need. We have to cut it off. I think this will be the easiest way. To make your card. Let's get rid of these. And well, I think, well, let's cut it with the scissors. Almost done, isn't it? And then, well, it's not straight, you see? Well, let's do it with my guillotine. That's much better, I think. And then it's straight, like it's neat. Also over here. So that's better. <coughs> and now I have a card. That can be open and closed. Well, what do I need more? I need a tree. Because in on the card I want to have a tree. And I'm going to make the tree from the paper that's in the paper pad with Christmas. There are green tones. So I thought it would be nice to use this for my tree. I'm not sure. I think I need two of them. So let's pull out another piece. And what do I need more? Well, the tree has a piece where it's standing on and I need some browns. We have a paper pad with brown tones. Where is my brown tone paper pads? Well, you need those unit paper pads. Absolutely. Because you can make everything when you have this one. I think this is the nicest color. So, not too much. I need to. Maybe I. you don't see it. I, I'm not sure. Well, let's cut it out. Whoa. What's coming down over here? Well, this little guy. And I didn't need it now. I'm using an extra piece of paper in my die cutting machine. So I'm sure it's cutting out. Because the paper is not so very thick. And I need another tree. I think I need two of them. If I don't, well, I'm leaving it for another project. So. These are, oh no, I don't, I need it more. Well, let's put this one over there. So it doesn't get loose. I need... Two pieces of the bottom of the tree. Well, that'll be one. And I think, I hope it doesn't. Yes, it's still in the middle of the paper. <coughs> I'm sorry. There's something in my throat that doesn't belong there. Well, I think that's enough of this. Shall I put a little bit snow on these two? I'm not sure. I've cut it out some pieces that I liked. The sleigh, sledge, no, sleigh sleigh I thought with a present on it maybe I can use more present I'm not sure I think this will be 
Mm, no. It's... I'm not sure I'm going to use that one. Maybe I need another tree. Then it's more green down. Yes, I think that's the best. Well, you know, I didn't make an example. So you're not knowing what is the nicest way. But I think I need another tree. I'm not need uh, more of the bottoms of the tree. I need another tree. Well, where are you, my dear? Over here. Thanks. I need you on my paper. Yes. You can decorate it the way you like it because there are lots and lots of paper elements. But I'm I love to use uh, die cuts, no um, cutting die. So then it's a little bit different to make your card. Am I going to use the Yes, I think. On two of them. Well. Put this one over there. I think it's the... Whoa, this is the snow. I don't need snow to glue it. Sorry. I need some glue in the middle of the tree. To put this one over there. And the other one. And maybe it's nicer to put it a bit higher, the guys that are in front. So, this one is a bit too long, but that doesn't mind. No, it doesn't mind at all. Uh, let's do it like that. Yes. And what do I'm going to use? Well, I thought this guy will be would be nice also. And maybe there was also a car. Or does I'm going am I going to use a little house? No. I think I am still going. No, that's not the right one. I need presents. Yes, and there are a few presents more. I have one like this, and I have one like that. Well, how fun is it when you are in the woods and there are some presents. Sorry for the noise. There is coming a car outside. I think this one is also very, very nice, and this one too. So let's give it a try to put all the stuff together. Oh well, this one, I like this one too. I need that. So, this one is going to be flat on the card. Yes. So we are going to glue it with the tacky glue from Studio Lights. And a little bit in the middle. And I think we need some foam tapes in different sizes. This is the smallest. I mean uh, the thickness. This is 1.5 millimeters. So this is very small. Where is my scissors to cut it? Off. You can cut off very easy foam tape with the scissors from Studio Light. Well, you can get rid of it easily. On the way like this from the back pieces well and this one is coming over here yes and this one is a little bit more higher well this foam tape is a little bit thicker I'm not knowing for sure 
how thick this one is, but it's thicker. I think this is one millimeter, but I'm not sure. You can decorate uh, the trees the way you like, but I thought, well, trees that stands in the woods doesn't have decoration, I don't think. Oh, come on. Okay. Now look at that. How maybe it's funnier to put it a little bit lower, like this, and I get rid of that one. And now I'm can put some well I'm not sure of in the woods are also presents but I like to do this one over here and maybe I can put the other one behind for the colors or doesn't I do that no I don't think so you don't need it. I can put one over here and I could put one a little bit lower. Let's do that. And maybe the guy can stand on a present. Maybe. Let's see how it's going to be. Shall we put this one over here? I think so. Yes, let's do it. Let's do this this way. Great. Well, I have big and small presents. What do I need? What do I need more? I think this one over here. Yes. I need that one over there. Well, you know what? It's a little bit there are difference in heights. So uh I thought I need it in this way. Yes. So we have to fix that. A little bit of glue. Now I'm going to need a little piece of the foam tape over there because it's, uh, well, it's a little bit of hanging in my card and that's not the way it has to be. So let's give it a try to put it on the back and I hope it's getting better. Well. That's what it needs. Well, shall I put this one over there or shall I put him over there? Well, I don't think. Maybe the guy could stand over here. Straight in the middle of the presence. That will be the best place there is for him. Yes. So. And we are going to need some snow, you know. Well, how fun it is. We in Dutch say it rains. I'm sorry, you know, I'm not the best in English, but I give it a try. Shall I put this one over here? Shall I put it down below him? Well, that must be the best place, I think. And then this one over there. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. 
and I have the other one. A little bit this way. Shall I? Um, did I need it to put it on the bed? Don't think. Yes, how funny it will be. So many presents. Don't you like it? Well, I do. And I like it to put this one over here. So he has to be coming a little bit lower. Is that possible? I think it is. Yes, it is. A little bit lower. First, I have to glue this one behind the other one a little bit behind it so many presents i like it i love getting a lot of presents don't you i think everyone wants to well, let's give this one over there and this guy is standing over here well look at him He's bringing the presents. Shall I put some little more or isn't it necessary? Well, I think this is also a piece that's needing over there. A little bit smaller because it's too big. And I think I'm going to use it like this. Yes. From behind the present. Then we are going to need, well, what do we need more? Let's think. A text. I thought, first I thought I can put this one over there. Maybe it's nice to put it over here. Well, or shall we put, is it too big? I think it's too big. Well, let's give it some text. You like this, ho, 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 you like this. Well, let's do it in pink. Oh, what fun. I think that's nice. Oh, what fun. In the pink color. I think that's the right one. Sometimes you don't have to look for more. Uh, let's give it a little bit higher and the small pieces off and then we are almost done a little bit of snow everywhere first time going to show you that you can put it in the card or in the envelope and then we are going to give it some snow because otherwise we are going to damage the card and that was not the way I like it. Oh, what fun. Well, first of all, I'm going to show you that this fits perfectly inside of this one. As you can see. Well, the guy that's got this one has a nice envelope or girl and a very pretty card. Let's first give it a little bit of snow like this. A little bit of splatters. On. I missed some splatters of snow on my trees. And now I have some splatters everywhere. I like that. So, it's a very hard snowy day. And some pieces over there. Because then everything fits together. And now we are going to use the effect snow from Studio Light. This has all to be dry. And this also. But I can put some snow over here. Well, you know, it's now 30 degrees outside. And I'm playing with snow. How fun is that? And I hope you like the card. I like it. The envelope and card. It's very funny to get well a little bit over here 
and a little bit over there not too much you can use too much no then it's not funny anymore so give it a try well the guy is standing on the packages in the snow and there is a little bit of snow on the edges of the trees not much a little bit on all the back side uh, left sides and i want some snow at the bottom then i want to give it a little bit of sparkle and then we're done so give it a sparkle way and i hope you all like this i like playing with the sweet christmas from Studio Light, and I hope you're going to play too. Look out for these pieces, small pieces of glass. So it is very, very thin glass. You can your your uh, pets can damage their feet so look out for it or your kids so be sure you clean it well I think we're actually done and I put this back in little pots and now you can see how fun is it to get a card with the sweet christmas and your envelope thank you all for watching and i hope to see you on the next video bye bye